given that 2 sine x minus 60 degrees equals cos x minus 30 degrees, show that 10x equals 3 root 3. So we're going to use our sine a plus b or a minus b and our cos a minus b formulas here. They're in the formula book. Let's just write them down. So sine sine a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b and cos a minus b be cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. So we're just going to substitute these in. So a is going to be for the sine one, a will be x and b will be 60. So we've got 2 sine a minus b it's going to be 2 lots of sine a cos b, so sine x cos 60 minus cos x sine 60. And that's going to equal cos x minus 30, so the cos a minus b, cos x cos 30 plus sine x sine 30. And we're going to simplify this as much as we can. So all of the sine 30s can change to a half, and all the cos 60s as well. And the sine 60s, the cos 30s, you can change to square root 3 over 2. So I'll leave the 2 there for now. So 2 sine x times cos 60, half, minus, we've got a sine 60, which is the root 3 over 2, so root 3 over 2 cos x, we've got a cos 30, which is a root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2 cos x, and we've got a sine 30, which is a half, so plus half sine x. And then I'll expand this bracket. So the two and the half are going to cancel out. So sine x minus root three cos x equals root three over two cos x plus half of a sine x. So let's add or we'll take half a sine x away from both sides. So one sine x, take away half a sine x, be half sine x, and root 3 over 2 cos x plus root 3 cos x, so a root 3 plus half a root 3 will be 1 and a half root 3s, or 3 root 3 over 2 cos x. We want tan. To get tan, we're going to do sine over cos, so divide both sides by cos x, half tan x is 3 root 3 over 2, and then double both sides. So tan x is 3 root 3. So it says, hence or otherwise, solve for 0 to 180 degrees. 2 sine 2 theta plus cos 2 theta plus 30 degrees given your answers to one decimal place. What's happened here? What, what have we changed um, x into? What's x changed into? So that x minus 60 has changed into 2 theta, and x minus 30 has changed into 2 theta plus 30. So what's happened? So x minus 60 equals 2 theta x has changed into 2 theta plus 60 so if we changed these two x's to 2 theta plus 60 we'll get 2 theta and 
2 theta plus 30. So that's the change that's been made. So we have tan. So we can rewrite this as tan 2 theta plus 60. Tan 2 theta plus 60 equals 3 root 3. And then we just solve it. Um, solve this. So we'll get what 2 theta plus 60 is. And then we'll take away the 60 and divide the answers by 2. So we'll just solve this to start with. So we're going to shift tan, arc tan, 3 root 3. So let's type that into the calculator. So, so shift tan, 3 root 3. In degrees, we get 79.1 as our first answer. So, so 2 theta plus 60 is equal to 79.1. And then 10 just repeats every 180 degrees. So the next answer will be 259.1. And we're not going to need another one. So from these, we're going to take away 60 and then divide by 2. Take away 60, divide by 2, get 99.6. Second, second answer. The first answer was 79.1. So take away 60 and divide by 2, 9.6.